food? Where's my donkey? Uh, it's not even the main story. The donkey is just this little tiny part. So stop asking about the bloody donkey. I feel like I could have gone into heart surgery and I would have had more enjoyment out of that than watching this film. So the first nativity was really cute because it had, you know, these kids doing all the improv, you know, a bit like outnumbered and they're coming out with silly things, they're doing silly dances, and oh, that's cute. This feels like the whole production team is just making it up as they go along. The children look lost. They look like they've just rounded them up and gone, go, perform. <laughs> they really do look lost. All the dance scenes are shoddy. The performances are just really agonizing to watch. And then you've got Adam Garcia in this film, which I didn't have a clue he was in it until he showed up. And I was like, it's Adam Garcia in Nativity 3. <laughs> oh, how his career is booming. <laughs> so that got me a little bit excited, but then, you know, all they do is they have this trained dancer, a phenomenal dancer at that, moving around like a buffoon, giving us his best jazz hands. Give the trained dancer a tap dance number already. So the trend of the nativity films is you always have someone that's really charismatic, but they're rather grumpy. You know, you have Martin Freeman, a very charismatic man playing a bit of a grump. David Tennant, a very charismatic man playing a grump. And then here we have Martin Clunes, who I've always considered as a very charismatic man. And here he's playing a grumpy man, which I thought that's fine because of Doc Martin. He's going with that trend. He's going down that route. That's okay. And then when he meant to turn into this goofy kind of character, part of me was like, has Martin Clunes ever been charismatic? I have all these memories in my head of him being hilarious, goofy, just a really funny charismatic man because of men behaving badly. And then here, we just have a big ball of embarrassment. It, it was like watching your dad trying to be funny. It just did not work for me. And I just got really sad thinking, well, was men behaving badly ever funny? Have I just imagined this? Or has he forgot how to be funny? This film wasn't funny. It had no structure. Just when you think it's going to end, they give you more <laughs> and it just keeps getting delivered to you like a really bad Christmas present. It just sucked. <laughs> I was like that child that didn't want this Christmas present, stomping my feet and chucking it across the room. Oh, so bad. Not what I wanted Santa to deliver to me. And it had such a bad message for children. The message is basically, it's okay to steal the prize if you don't win. Children shouldn't be watching this. You shouldn't let children see this and think that that's okay. Just, ah, oh, the, the script should have been burned from the beginning when that first producer saw it. He should have got his highlighter. Feel the rage.